Namaste friends, my name is Sandeep. Today we are going to learn swing pose. Swing, swing pose is very similar to Bhujangasana. But in this we take the support of the hands. Swing pose is a backward bend chest opening asanas because the chest opens very nicely. Anatomically when we see it allows the chest, it allows the shoulders, it allows the abdomen region to open. And also it brings a nice stretch in the upper back, in the neck region and also in the middle lower back region. The organs which are there inside the abdomen like kidneys, like liver gets affected the most. And also it brings a nice stretch in the whole or the front of the spine which is the front of the chest and the abdomen region. Friends, when we do this asana it stretches and strengthens the spine. Also, the organs which are there inside the abdomen gets massaged because of this. This particular practice is very beneficial for people who have stress. It can help them to relieve the stress. Friends, when we do this asana, they say, in scriptures it is mentioned that this asana can help to increase the heat inside the body. So when the heat is increased, the disease can go away. The disease is being cured completely. And also the Kundalini can awaken. So this asan plays a very beneficial role. Now those who have a severe injury in the spine, they will not do this practice. And also if you have any headache, you will try to avoid this practice. Let's see how to perform this asan. This asan is done in prone position, lying on the abdomen. So let us lie on the abdomen. The starting position is feet together, hands by the side of the body and forehead on the ground. Keep the shoulders relaxed, keep the forehead region, the facial muscles also relaxed. Now slowly bring the chin forward and then bring the hands also forward. After bringing the hands forward, what you need to do is you need to adjust, you need to arrange your hands. So bring the hands in front of the mat in such a way that the shoulder and the elbow are in one line. If you see friends now, the shoulders and elbows are in one line and right now my shoulders are very close to the ear because my upper back is dropping, my head is dropping. So what we need to do is we need to elongate the neck and also we need to let the shoulders go away from the ear. In some person the limbs are a little shorter, in some person the limbs are a little longer. So what they can do is they can allow and bring some adjustment either front or back so that they can become comfortable in this posture. Shoulder, elbow if possible in one line, chest is open nicely and you are looking in front. Head is not getting shorter, the neck is not getting shorter, the neck is tall. Shoulders relax and maybe what you can do is you can extend the legs little down and out so that the pelvic region is nicely on the floor the lower back is also not getting shorter, the lower back is also getting elongated, going away from the buttock and the hip region. Now remain in this position for a while. After remaining in this position for about 8 to 10 seconds, what you can do is now you can incorporate breathing. So when you breathe in, you will feel your breath moving from the nose, going towards your neck, then to the upper back, middle back and the lower back. And when you breathe out, you will bring the attention from the down of the spine, from the lower back to the middle back to the upper back and then breath out through the nose. Friends, when you do this, you will find that the torso or the spine lifts as you breathe in and then it drops when you breathe out. So this kind of breathing when we do, it creates a nice massaging effect on the organs which are there inside the abdomen and that is the reason why it is also very good for that. Mostly, it is one of the best asana for people who have spine problem, people who suffer from spinal disorder or lower back problem. So let's do this. Holding this position, allowing the chest to remain relaxed but open up, shoulders open nicely and away from the ear, head is tall, head going up to the ceiling. Now start breathing. When you breathe, breathe from the nose into the upper back, into the middle back and lower back. 
Just see how the lower back rises and then breathe out. So friend, when you breathe in, you will feel the rising of the spine as if the spine is rising up to the ceiling and when you breathe out, you will find that the spine falls down to the floor. Become aware of the way the spine is moving because this also stretches the muscles which supports the spine and also it increases the space between the vertebra allowing if there is any impeachment to get released. Let's do this two more times with the breath. Inhalation, feel the spine rising. Exhalation, feel the spine dropping. This awareness of the spine will also allow this posture to become better, this asana to become easier and indirectly it will bring the connection of your body and the mind coordination very well. You will become more aware of your posture because this connection that builds while performing the asana will keep you more and more aware of understanding of how you are standing, how you are sitting and are you standing or sitting in the right position, in the right posture or not. Friends, if you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel. If you have any queries or any comments, please put to us, we will go through it. And also, if you have need any videos on certain particular topic, also post to us, we will make those videos for you. See you soon friends, Namaste.